Good day there. If you're here today, then you probably fucked your Xbox and you need some help. And you're gonna need an EEPROM reader. You can make them yourself, or you can uh, get someone to make it for you. So that's probably the best thing to do is just get someone to make it for you. It's it's a lot easier, and um, I mean I have my fair share of electronic uh, practice, but um, yeah, if someone's been making them for a while, then they can perfect them. My mate's done an awesome job of making this. Like they've He's done such a great job with that uh, I've had this for a couple of years and it's been for a bit of wear and tear. Um, and the, the only thing I fucking hate though is this alligator clip. It's so cheap. Um, probably have to look into replacing that soon. This rubber bit keeps coming off, but other than that, everything else, it's awesome. So, uh, only one, th uh, one, a couple of things that we have to go through before we start is that you need a uh, computer with a serial port, like a COM1 serial port or whatever. It, it can't be a USB adapter. It just it doesn't work. I, I don't think it's anything to do with the Xbox or the program, a programmer. Uh, I think it's just the uh, Pony Prog because I'm pretty sure that's the only program you can use to do it. And yeah, I, I don't really know the actual reasoning behind it. All I know is that whenever someone's asked, can you do it, and they've tried, and the people have tri uh, that are helping have tried it too, and they just said, oh, it doesn't work. So don't bother asking. Just, they're like, fucking, what, $20? Get a, get an old Pentium 4, Pentium 3 computer, put Windows 2000 on it. It's easy. Just talk to Grandma. Grandma has one. Anyway, let's get started. So you're going to need a program called uh, Pony Prog. See that? If you have sound, it would make a very loud horse neigh sound. So you might want to have your computer on mute because it's very loud and very <laughs> annoying. Um, so just get, just open that up, and you can click read. Read device. I'm sorry that's really blurry. My phone doesn't really like uh, old LCD screens. But yeah, you just press read while that's in there. Um, the only thing you got to be mindful of here is that the Xbox will go absolutely ballistic if you uh, try to uh, try to do this. Like you try to set it up with the EEPROM reader, then start it. It has to be on. So... The only thing you got to be careful of there is, is not to try to kill yourself with the power supply, because it is active, and it is on, and it will really hurt. So just try to keep all your fingers and your arms and whatever in the left side of the Xbox, and not on the right side. I mean, obviously, I'm speaking from experience here, so... You know, we're not laughing at anybody here. I, all of this I learnt the hard way, unfortunately. That's what. That's why I'm showing you this, obviously. I wouldn't have an EEPROM read otherwise. Anyway, um... So, before I turn this on, I'll just show you for reference. Red goes on the top, uh, second right, and the blue goes on the top, second left. Put that in there. And the alligator clips. They can go into the side of the Xbox. Just like that. Alright. So you might want to get a friend to help you with this, if you have any friends, or maybe your mum. I know your mum likes to help me a little occasionally, so she should be right with that. Because you don't have three hands, obviously. Um, I've done this before, so she'll be right. Uh, you just got to get someone to click read device while you get, you get your hands in the motherboard. And uh, turn on the... Um, the Xbox. 
I've got to be quick with this. I got. All right. See, I wasn't quick. Okay. Red. Oh, I freaked out there for a second. I thought I killed my Xbox. <laughs> um, there we go. Be successful. Uh, 256 bytes, which seems about right because the chip is 256. And that number, uh, depending on if you had a case change like this Xbox has, that long, very long number should be the uh, serial number. So yeah, um, so we don't kill anyone, better uh, unplug all this. So after reading the EEPROM, just, just save it, file, save as, and you're gonna have to select bin, and type E prom. <sighs> Fuck. There we go. And then just click save. You might have moles of them, so you might want to rename them, but this is just for reference. There we go, and your EEPROM is somewhere. There it is, it is on the desktop. Just, uh, it, reading as a VLC file for some reason. But yeah, that's it there, and you just need Xbox HGMM now. HG Maker, and yeah, just you put that in there, and the C and E files you can uh, get off Slayers and should look something like this. There we go. There you go. Easy. And the uh, Slayers is... So just download Slayers and I don't know, I haven't actually done it from Slayers before, I've always had like some kind of backup, but yeah, you can get the files in there. Anyway, you figured that the Xbox HG Maker, and you can look that up, you just, this is just how to get your EEPROM, and you can do the rest um, from another video, I suppose. If you want to buy one of these, uh, I guess uh, there are people that make them. I guess they can uh, comment, and I will like advertise for them if they want to uh, sell these. Uh, generally, people in the ISO zone make them regularly, so you can always get in contact with one of them, and they will sort you out. And yeah, no problem. So thanks for watching, and hopefully uh, you get your Xbox working.